by 2030 80% of two and three wheelers 40% of buses and 30 to 70% of cars in india will be electric vehicles says the niti ayog as the nation gears towards its zero emission 2070 dream funds and focus are directed towards electric mobility India annually imports around 8 lakh crore rupees worth of crude oil. This is expected to double in the next 4 to 5 years. Fossil fuels are a non-renewable energy source and are getting depleted at a high rate. While at it, they are also depleting the environment. From choking air quality to extreme weather conditions, We have been bearing the brunt of our extensive dependency on fossil fuel. To battle climate change, India too has been focusing on alternative and efficient energy sources like its global counterparts. In March 2022, the Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari spoke in the parliament about the increase in the number of electric vehicles. Between 2019-2020 and 2020 2021 the two wheeler electric vehicles rose by 422% three wheelers by 75% four wheelers by 230% and the number of electric buses increased by over 1200% well these numbers are promising india's road to a fully electric ecosystem still has a few hurdles high cost inadequate infrastructure and lack of high performing electric vehicles the electric variants of the two and four wheelers are often priced much higher than their regular fuel options this is the most important reason for the slow adoption of electric mobility over 60% of consumers believe that an electric vehicle is beyond their budget both the upfront and maintenance costs burn a hole in the customer's pockets the maintenance costs are high mainly due to the lack of necessary amenities there are more than 65000 petrol bunks in india but only 1640 electric vehicle charging stations most electric vehicle owners resort to charging their vehicles at their homes This too becomes a challenge if there is a power crisis and if the parking space is shared. The electric vehicles in India so far have only been variants of the already available fossil fuel driven two and four wheelers. High performing luxury variants or supercars like the Teslas are yet to hit the Indian markets. Hoping to convert more consumers into electric vehicle owners The government is offering subsidies for purchasing electric vehicles. A tax exemption of 1.5 lakh rupees is also given to people who are purchasing electric cars on loan. The GST for the purchase of an electric vehicle is set at just 5% with zero cess. Also, under the two phases of the FAME or faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicle scheme, The government has been trying to improve the infrastructure for electric vehicle manufacturing in the country. There is also a plan for 22,000 electric vehicle charging stations to be set up by oil marketing companies across the country. In the 2022 budget, a battery swapping policy was announced as an easier way to charge electric vehicles. The vehicle's used battery is simply swapped with a replenished one without having to plug the vehicle into a charging point. Last year, the government also announced a production-linked incentive scheme for automakers, a part of which aims to boost electric vehicles manufacturing. If these measures are implemented effectively and efficiently, Industry experts say that India is likely to see a significant growth in the EV market in the coming decade.